Hey, what's up guys? It's Chuck from Brady Adventures and we're just at the beginning of the Brood X cicada season. They're all emerging from the ground and hatching from their shells, making a ton of noise. And I wanted to try um, some cicada food recipes. And a few friends of mine were encouraging me to do that, so here I am. Uh, we pulled a few nymph cicadas off a couple trees, some of the very first ones that we saw coming out of the ground. If you're going to use some, those are going to be the best, the ones that are just coming out of their shell and they're milky white. Yeah, so this guy, see, he's already starting to get a shell, so he's kind of firm. And this guy's just coming out. They're pretty soft. So I'm looking for those white nymphs that are really soft like that. Then we are going to blanch them in some hot water and then we're gonna saute them in a little olive oil and butter with some taco seasoning and fix up our tacos like we would any other. We put our cicadas in the freezer for about 24 hours overnight. And I've got them in this little Tupperware. You can hear those little bad boys in there. Oh, there they are. Oh, there they are, ready to go. I'm gonna throw these guys in here for about two minutes. Okay, so I've had them in there a couple minutes. That should firm them up a little bit. They're a little deflated. Okay, there's my guys right there. Oh, well, it's still very hot. It's still very hot. Mmm, those look delicious. <laughs> So I think I'm just going to cook them for just a couple minutes, really. Put the cicadas into our taco. By the way, these taco holders, I'll put a link in the description to them. Everybody's asking me about them. They're really awesome. Got this one little guy that I'm going to try here just to see. Looks kind of cute. Hmm. Hmm. That's really interesting. So the taco seasoning, of course, is what I taste up front. It actually tastes a tiny bit like peanut butter to me or some kind of earthy flavor. Mm, the body is firm, kind of like a shrimp. It's a little bit crunchy around the edges where things crisp up in that oil. But it's, it's actually pretty tasty. So I'm kind of excited about this taco now. All right. So I got a little bit of cheese here. Put that on top of here. A little bit of green salsa. And a little bit of sour cream. Of course, can't forget a little guac. I'm just gonna kind of roll that up into a little soft taco. Ooh, he's very drippy. That is really good. Here's the thing, I got, what, eight or nine of them. I think you probably, for a good taco, maybe you want to have like 10 per taco. Since this is my first time, I only got a few and it looked like a lot, but I think I need to get a lot more of these. I'm going to wait for the next big emergence and uh, get a whole Tupperware full of these guys. Mm-mm. Highly recommend it. Mm. It's perfect with a Coors Banquet. Mm. A banquet of cicadas with a banquet beer. Ah. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Let us know if you have any questions about our Land Cruiser or cicada tacos. Thanks a lot for watching. Mm. Damn, that's good. I really am surprised. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. And always feel free to leave us any comments or questions that you might have.